Hello, Dominic here with an introduction to the Curve Slice tool found on the Mesh Edit tab. With the Curve Slice tool you can make slices in your geometry in two different ways. I'm going to show you the first way. So select the Curve Slice tool. I'm going to my top view and I'm going to click to start drawing a curve. And as you see here my mesh is being cut. First I'm going to reset the tool. I'm going to uncheck create polygon. I'm going to talk about that later. Going back to the top view because my cut has been adjusted with resetting. I'm going to click in the top view. I'm going to drag this point over here. Perspective view. So you see there's my cut and it follows the curve. When automatic is on, I can set a smoothing angle and you see the number of points on the cuts change. When automatic is off, I can set a number of steps. When it's zero, there is no cuts. One, two, three, four steps. And the more steps I give it, the more the cut will follow the direction of the curve. A lot of these options are actually similar uh, when you are working with curves like in Curve Extrude. So check out those videos. And I can make it a closed one. So now it's closed and it will create a second one because the curve goes over that geometry. I can give it a start control. I can add, edit and delete knots. So for instance deleting that one will make the previous one the start control. Deleting that one will make that the start control. So now when I edit, but I mean delete, when I edit then I can adjust the curve. So you see the cuts being changed. So again delete. I'm going to delete this one and this one and give it an end control. Now this one can be edited. It that can also be in add mode like so. So you can adjust the cut. The number of steps is probably a bit too high. Okay. And as I said a lot of these options are similar to previous videos. What, to what I've explained in previous videos I mean. I can edit the points. Uh, I can add. So with this point selected click again and I have added another one. I can set its position numerically over here. So all different ways. When I go up and down it won't change anything but when I go left and right it does. So a first way to use the curve slice tool. A second way is that I have a curve already pre-made in a separate mesh item layer. So I'm going to press N for, an, for a new item layer. Going to my basic tab, right click over here and choose curve. Go to my top view and start dragging a curve. Now I'm going back to my previous mesh layer and with that curve visible, going to mesh edit, curve slice, click in the viewport and there you see my cut. And again I can edit this curve it's not because I pr I use, I'm using a pre-made curve that I cannot edit it, so I can edit it. I can set the number of steps over here. I can set it by length, so it's uniform. And so on. So pretty much the same. Going to drop the tool, going to make this un invisible. Going again to my top view, and polygons. Uh, one thing I forgot with uh, the curve slice, so when I s draw my curve on my own, like that, without having a curve visible in the background, I also can say over here, create polygon, and again going to my top. When this happens, right, new, right now you see, because of the click in this viewport, my curve or my cut has been disrupted. Going back to my top view, click also creates a new one. It's not too bad. I can delete it. Delete. And now you see I have again made a cut. And I also, because of create polygon on, not only have I made a cut, but it also has created 
a new polygon. Now when I drop the tool, I can um, select this polygon, control X to cut it, and for a new item layer, control V to paste, going back to my geometry layer, going to the top view. No, first of all, I'm going to select the, the curve again, W to move it over, back to my geometry layer, select curve slice, click, and now I have exactly the same cut that I made with the previous one. So checking create polygon on can be useful if you want to create a curve polygon to be reused. The rest of the settings, as I said, are explained in the videos like curve extrude. Uh, can be very useful to watch that video. So short introduction to the curve slice tool. Hope you uh, find it useful. Bye for now. This was Dominic.